Welcome to today's episode, where we explore the fascinating and controversial concept of artificial wombs and baby factories. Are they a dystopian fantasy, or could they be part of our real future? Let's dive in. The Current State of Artificial Womb Technology While the idea of baby factories might seem far-fetched, the technology behind artificial wombs already exists. We'll examine the groundbreaking research conducted in Philadelphia and discuss the BioBag, a device that has successfully supported the development of premature lambs. Hashem Al-Ghali's Ecto-Life Concept German science popularizer Hashem Al-Ghali has proposed the Ecto-Life Project, which envisions an artificial womb facility capable of nurturing up to 30,000 human embryos per year. We'll delve into this ambitious concept and its potential impact on society, ethical concerns and potential benefits. The idea of artificial wombs raises ethical questions that must be considered. We'll consult with experts who weigh in on the ethical aspects, as well as the potential benefits for infertile couples, high-risk pregnancies, and more. The Future of Artificial Wombs and Baby Factories With advancements in neonatology, it's possible that we may one day see the development of embryos outside the womb from conception to birth. We'll explore the likelihood of this happening and discuss the potential challenges and implications of such technology becoming widespread. As we've seen today, artificial wombs and baby factories are not entirely science fiction. While we may still be years or even decades away from realizing these concepts, the advancements in science and technology could ultimately make them a reality. Thanks for joining us on this exploration of the potential future of human reproduction. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more thought-provoking content.